So look at your question number 11. If the arithmetic mean and harmonic mean for two numbers are 5 and 3.2, then what is the geometric mean? So we know the relation between AM, GM, HM that was G square equals to AH, G equals to square root of AH. If you multiply the arithmetic mean and harmonic mean, you get 16. The square root of 16 is 4. That's your 11th question. Geometric mean is 4. And your 12th question, you have to find the range that was the difference between the largest and the smallest value and we know the largest observation 10 and the smallest observation is 1 10 minus 1 is 9 and now your 13th question quartile deviation for the data so now you are going to calculate quartile deviation see how to calculate quartile deviation quartile deviation qd is equals to there is a formula q3 minus q1 divided by 2 this is your quartile deviation formula Quartile division is also called as semi-interquartile range. This is also important for you. Quartile division is also called as semi-interquartile range. Now what you have to find? You have to find Q3 and Q1. See how to calculate Q3 and Q1. You must arrange the given observations in ascending order first of all. First of all, you have to arrange the observations in ascending order. So if you arrange the observations in ascending order, how we write 1, 1 after, the ascending one is 3, 3 after, 4, 5, 6, again 6 and 10. This is your ascending order. First observation, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven. Seven observations are, are there. Now we are going to calculate Q1. Q1 means n plus 1 divided by fourth term. Small n plus 1 divided by fourth term. What is small in seven observations? In place of n, you are going to substitute seven because seven observations are given in this problem. But you must arrange the given observations in ascending order because we are going to find the quartile deviation. As in, in place of n, if you substitute seven, seven plus one, eight, eight by four means tooth term. So second term, our second term is the first quartile. What is the second term? 3 is the second term. So no doubt Q1 is equals to 3 minus 3 divided by 2. Now we are going to calculate Q3. How to calculate Q3? Q3 is equals to, so Q3 is equals to 3 times of n plus 1 by 4th term. 3 times of n plus 1 by 4th term. So we know Q1 now. So 3 times of n plus 1 by 4th four, term will be second term. So 3 into 2th term. 3 into 2 term will be 6th term. So what is the 6th term here? 6th term is 6. So 6 minus 3 divided by 2. 6 minus 3 by 2 means 3 by 2. 3 by 2 means 1.5. As option D is correct, just check your solution for 13th one. The quartile deviation for the data 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 10 is 1.5. The quartile deviation equals to Q3 minus Q1 divided by 2. Our Q3 value is 6 and Q1 is 3. 6 minus 3 by 2, 3 by 2, it is equals to 1.5. So this is your quartile division. Just check your solution. Let's go into the next problem, number 14. Add the 14th question. Question number 14. The arithmetic mean of or the mean of the mean of 1, 3, 5, 6, comma, x, comma, 10 is 6. What is the value of x? You have to find the value of x. Your option is Your first option is 10. And our second option is 11. The third option is 12. Our fourth option is none of these. As this is our 14th problem. You have to calculate the value of x. Okay, x is missing. The clue is mean. The mean equals to 6. You just write the clue here. Mean is equals to 6. Start your solution. 
we know how to calculate the mean individual data only observations are given in this problem the so sum of the observations divided by number of the observations 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 6 plus x plus 10 divided by 1 2 3 4 5 6 that equals to 6 by 1 by doing cross multiplication 1 plus 3 4 4 plus 5 9 9 plus 6 15 15 plus 10 25 as 25 plus x is equals to 36 that equals to x is equals to so what is 36 minus 25 36 minus 25 will be 11 so x is equals to 11 is the correct answer check your solution option b is correct x value is 11 that's our 14th problem check your mean value is 6 and the missing observation x is equals to 11 that's our 14th problem next question number 15 15th question if the mean of if the mean of the observations are x x plus 3 x plus 6 x plus 9 and x plus 12 is 10 then what is the value of x your options are 9 and option b 4 your option c is 6 and option d is x this is your 15th problem Start your solution for the 15th question. Again, main concept main is given 10, main equals to 10. Concept of main is sum of the observations x plus x plus 3 plus x plus 6 plus x plus 9 plus x plus 12 divided by total observation set 1 2 3 4 and 5 total 5 observations that equals to 10 by 1 how many x are there 1 2 3 4 5 5 x values plus 3 plus 6 9, 9 plus 9 18, 18 plus 12 is 30 is equals to by doing cross multiplication we can write here 50. So 5x is equals to 20. What is the value of x? The value of x is equals to 4. 4 is the solution. That's your 15th question. Question number 16. The 16th question. Geometric mean. Let's see the geometric mean. The geometric mean GM 
of the three observations 1 9 and 3 three observations are given you have to find the geometric mean your options are 1 option a 1 option b 3 option c 9 and option d is 27 so this is your stay in the question you have to find the geometric mean see how to calculate the geometric mean for the given observations that was nth root of the observations nth root of the observation 1 into observation 2 into observation 3 and so on n observations how many observations are given three observations are given so 1 9 and 3 so it is cube root of 1 into 9 into 3 so cube root of 1 into 9 into 3 is 27 what is cube root of 27 that is 3 option b is correct 16th one third option is correct Sixteen one completed. Three is correct. Option B. Second option B is correct. Option B is correct. Answer is three. Sixteen one geometry mean is completed. Next question number seventeen related to correlation concept. Just write down. If the rank, if the rank correlation coefficient. If the rank correlation coefficient between between marks in between marks in management and mathematics management and mathematics for a group of students for a group of students is 0 0.6 and the sum of and the sum of squares and the sum of squares of the differences sum of squares of the differences in the ranks sum of squares of the differences in ranks is 66 what is the number of students what is the number of students In the group, you have to find the number of students in the group. Your options are 10, option B, 9, option C is 8, and option D is 11. This is your 17th question related to rank correlation coefficient. See how to calculate this concept. So what are given in this question? We know the rank correlation coefficient between the marks in management and mathematics for a group of students that is 0 0.6, which means here the given data is the given data is R is equals to 0 0.6. Rank correlation coefficient is given directly. Okay, that is one first point R equals to 0 0.6. And one more point is given, and the sum of squares of the differences in ranks is 66. Which means summation d square, sum of squares of the differences. Na? This means sum of squares of the differences is 66. And we need to find number of students in the group. We don't know the number of students in the group. We don't know small n or n. So what is the formula is required to calculate rank correlation coefficient is very important now. We know three things. They are r is equal to r is equal to 0 0.6 r equals to 0 0.6 summation d square equals to 66 summation d square equals to 66 and we don't know what is n so these three out of three things we know r and summation d square we don't know n number of students 
So what is the rank correlation coefficient formula? The formula for rank correlation is R is equals to 1 minus of 6 times of summation d square divided by n cubed minus n. This is our formula. And we know the rank correlation that was given in the problem 0 0.6. Now 1 minus 6 times of summation d square is in place of summation d square we can substitute 66 n cube we don't know n n cube minus n now it will be 0 0.6 minus 1 it is minus 0 0.4 that equals to minus of 66 into 6 is 396 divided by n cubed minus n minus minus get cancelled so it will be observe 0 0.4 0 0.4 into n cube minus n or you can write 4 by 10 0 0.4 4 by 10 that equals to 396 divided by n cubed minus n do the cross multiplication or you can do 4 ones 4 nines 36 Again, 4 nines, 36. By doing cross multiplication, what we can write? n cube minus n is equals to 990. So, in place of n, if you substitute 10, just substitute 10 in place of n, you will get this solution. You can check 10 cube is 1000. 10 cube is 1000. 1000 minus 10 will be 990 is correct. So, no doubt, the number of observations, the number of n is equals to 10 here. You can check the solution. What is the number of students in the group will be 10. Option A is correct. Just check your solution everyone. N is equals to 10. Option A is correct. Check your solution and equals to 10. This type of problems are also important for you. From the statistical ability part, rank correlation is important for you. That's our 17th problem. Next, question number 17. Check this 17th one, enter the 18th problem. Problem number 18. Question number 18. Observe. 18th question. Find k. We have to find the value of k if the range of If the range of the observations 15, 14, K, 25, 30, 35 
is 23. Your options are 11, option B, 13, option C, 12, option D is 4. You have to find the value of K. The clue is given. Range is 23. Here, range is 23. Observe, range is equals to 23. So, what is the concept of range? Range is the difference between the largest and the smallest value that equals to 23 is given. Out of all the observations, out of all the given observations, see, out of all the given observations, which one is the highest observation? Highest observation is 35. 35 minus the smallest observation, we don't know the smallest observation, that smallest observation can be taken as K. So, 35 minus K equals to 23. Then what is K? So, K equals to 35 minus 23. Observe. Range is 23. So, then what is the value of K? 35 minus 23 will be 12. The value of K will be 12. 12 is the K value, which is the smallest observation. You can check. Smallest observation is K as that equals to 12. 12 is correct. Good. 18th question, 12 is correct. Next, question number 19. Or 19th question. I done the 19th question. What is the MD mean deviation of the data? Mean deviation of the data 3, 5, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29. About MD about its arithmetic mean. MD about its arithmetic mean. Your options are 8.5, 9, 7.2, and 7. So, this is your question. 19th question. You have to find the mean deviation about mean. I told you how to calculate the mean deviation about mean. Start your solution, everyone. Question number 19. So what is MD about mean? That formula is very important now. MD about mean is equals to summation into modulus x minus mean divided by number of observations. So, we need to calculate the mean. So, what is the mean of the given observations? Just add the observations 3 plus 5, sum of the observations 3 plus 5, 8, 8 plus 11, 19, 19 plus 13, it will be 32, 32 plus 17, 49, 49 plus 19, 68, 68 plus 23, 91, 91 plus 29, 91 plus 29, it will be 120, 120 divided by, how many observations are there, I think 8 observations, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 120 divided by 8 will be 15, so mean is equals to 15, you can check the mean answer, and here summation into modulus, x minus mean. What is our first observation? Our first observation is 3. The difference between 3 and 15. You just observe x minus mean is a formula. It, it will be summation. The 3 and 5, 15. The difference between 3 and 15 will be it is 12 plus and 5 and 15 difference is 
10 plus 11 and 15 difference will be 4 plus 13 and 15 difference 2 plus 17 and 15 difference will be 2 19 and 15 difference 4 23 and 15 difference will be 8 plus 29 and 15 difference will be 14 divided by number of observations are 8 so what is that sum so 12 plus 10 22 22 plus 4 26 28 30 34 34 plus 8 will be 42 42 plus 14 42 plus 14 will be 56 divided by 8 your answer is 7 not 7.2 and not 8 and not 8.5 option d is correct 7 is the correct answer aditya 7 is the correct answer mary 7 is correct answer vamshi krishna option d option d 7 is correct The last question, let's see the last question, question number 20. The standard deviation of the standard deviation of the numbers 22, 26, 28, 20, 24, and 30 is. Your options are 2, first option is 2, second option is 2.4. A third option is 3.24 and a fourth option is 3.42 so this is your last question question number 20 mostly all types of problems are covered from this 20 questions but you must practice more clear the concepts perfectly <coughs> So what is the standard deviation of this observation? Look at the observations. We can arrange the observations in an order 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. Na? 22, 22, sorry, 20 is there, 20 also is there. 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. How many observations are there? There are six observations. All these observations are consecutive numbers. What type of consecutive numbers? What do you notice here? All these six numbers are, all these six are consecutive even natural numbers. Na? You just observe. All these numbers are consecutive even natural numbers or not. You can say yes. Na? All these numbers are consecutive even natural numbers. So, how to find the standard deviation of consecutive even natural numbers? First, even natural numbers or consecutive even natural numbers. What is the formula is required directly? So, we can use this formula directly for shortcut like shortcut square root of n square minus 1 by 3. Otherwise, you can use a formula. There is a formula for standard deviation summation x square by n minus summation x by n whole square formula is there or you can use this formula also summation x minus x bar whole square by n there are two formulas we can use any one of the formula you will get the solution otherwise you can use this shortcut formula for only even natural numbers or odd natural numbers by using this formula square root of n square minus 1 by 3 how many consecutive natural numbers even natural numbers these are 
six consecutive even natural numbers just substitute in place of n is equals to six then what is your solution if you substitute n equals to six just reply your solution this is your last question question number 20 just do everyone a last question number 20 standard deviation of the given six consecutive even natural numbers using the shortcut formula we can solve this square root of n square minus 1 divided by 3 so in place of n substitute just a 6 then what is your solution so root of 35 by 3 root of 35 by 3 is not a bad solution let's see if you substitute in place of n equals to 6 it's a square is 36 36 minus 135 by 3 is correct and option D somebody says option D Chendu Chendu you are, you are good Chendu option D is absolutely correct 3.42 is correct see how to find this square root of 35 by 3 means it is nearly nearly 12 you can just observe if you take 36 in place of 35 if you take 36 3 ones 3 12 is your solution the square root of 12 will be 2 root 3 2 root 3 just check square root of 12 can be written as 4 3 is a 12 no? 4 3 is 12 so 2 root 3 is your solution and we know the value of root 3 that was 2 into 1.732 if you multiply with 1.732 you will get the result like 1.732 into 2 will be 4 6 14 3.46 like the 3.4 more than 4 not 3.2 c is not possible a is not possible b is not possible option d is correct 3.42 is correct now pranita chendu everyone doing correct so 20 question is completed all types of problems are completed now all types of uh, your concepts are completed in this practice session 20 questions are completed thank you